hey guys so welcome uh, to this uh, next video in our PySpark tutorial series where we're looking at using PySpark within Databricks so today what we're going to do is show you how to read a CSV file that you've uploaded into your uh, Databricks file store uh, we're going to sh show you how to read that from the CSV file to a Databricks uh, to a data frame inside of the Databricks uh, class inside of your Databricks cloud environment using our uh, PySpark. So let's begin. Uh, so firstly, you'll obviously need to create your cluster and compute. If you don't have one already, you can just click create compute, give it a name and choose the latest runtime. Then you want to go over to data and check out your DBFS. And in your file store, you should see uh, the data that you want to uh, read into a data frame. It can be of any format, but today we're looking at CSV data. So we've got um, two similar files, mock data and mock data onecsv I'm just going to use mock uh, underscore data onecsv for this, for the purposes of this video. Oh yeah. And something important uh, to be able to access your DBFS is you need to go to settings and then workspace settings and make sure that DBFS file browser is enabled. So most in most situations it's not enabled. So you just need to ena enable it, and then to activate that, you just might have to refresh the web page. So once that's uh, done, we can create notebook and begin. So we can name it um, read underscore csv to data frame. Leave language Python since we want to use PySpark, and uh, use the cluster which we created. So once we've created this notebook, what we can do is uh, read that CSV file uh, into a data frame. So I'm just going to call it data frame one. And the function or the code that we need is just spark dot read dot format. And then inside parentheses and double quotes, we can just enter the format. So today's demo is about CSV. And then we close the bracket in quotes and then do a dot option and then within this bracket in quotes you need to specify whether the header is true or false so that needs to be separated by a comma so you can do header dot true header comma true if you have uh, if your csv file has a header or header comma false if you don't have a header and then we can do dot load and we create another brackets and quotes and inside this we need to put our file path so how we get our file path is we can go over to data and go over to the DBFS and on the data file that we want to use, we just click copy path and we copy the Spark API format. We'll talk about the file API, API format in a later video, but for now you just need the Spark API format. Copy that, close, paste it in here, and then we can hit shift return to run and create a new cell simultaneously so once that's completed running we can just write display df1 and hit run and we should see a data frame with our csv file data so as you can see we've got that created it's just a simple csv file with id first name last name email gender and ip address and there's a great resource i use for creating this sample csv files um, just to work with and experiment with. It's called Mockaroo. I'll link it in the description below along with the code, which will be in a GitHub description. And if you don't know how to create this Databricks community edition, which allows us to use Databricks for free, I've got a video for that as well. It will be linked in the description and, and at the top right hand corner of the screen. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next one.